Hello friends, welcome to this lesson on moral development. In this lesson, we are going to learn about theory of moral development given by Lawrence Kohlberg. Let us consider a situation to understand this theory. The situation is such that Ben has been hit by his teacher for talking in the class. The teacher says every teacher disciplines students for their good. Feeling humiliated, Ben wants to go and complain to the principal against the teacher. He asks who among his friends would like to accompany him to the principal's office. Now, faced with this dilemma of whether to go or not to go to the principal's office along with Ben, Ben's friends respond differently to Ben's request. Ben's friend Tina thinks that the teacher might see her going with Ben to the principal's office and later on might punish her for doing so. Hence, she refuses to go with Ben. According to Kohlberg's theory of moral development, Tina's response is indicative of the stage 1 of pre-conventional morality where her behavior is primarily guided by her desire to avoid punishment from the teacher. His friend Teddy thinks that if I help him today, he too will help me tomorrow in case I am in trouble. Which is indicative of stage 2 of pre-conventional morality where his response is primarily guided by reciprocity or cost-benefit orientation. Ben's friend Tina thinks, what will others think of me as a bad girl for complaining against the teacher? So she is worried about her image in front of other classmates who would think of her as a bad girl for complaining against the teacher. Tina's response was primarily guided by trying to be a good girl, characteristic of stage 3 or the good boy, good girl orientation in the level 2 of conventional morality. A senior girl, a 7th grader comes to Ben and tells him that the teacher has to discipline the class and that he was hit because he was indisciplined. This response falls in stage 4 social order maintaining orientation within the level 2 conventional morality. At this stage, morality is primarily guided by an orientation towards maintaining social order. Finally, Dora comes in and tells Ben that he should file a complaint against the teacher with the principal. She said that a teacher should not discipline students at the cost of certain values like respect and dignity of the child. Dora's response is characteristic of stage 5 social contract orientation within level 3 or the post-conventional morality. Here, morality is primarily guided by the awareness that rules and laws are for the welfare of society. So the person at this stage realizes that rules and laws are flexible and can be changed and should be changed for larger common good. The whole episode finally reaches the principal who then holds a meeting with all the teachers of the school and tells them that they should not engage in corporal punishment because teaching calls for compassion and we need to instill confidence in children and make them understand right and wrong through love and nurturance and not through punishment. Therefore, the principal advises all the teachers of the school not to use corporal punishment but to instill discipline in children through modeling good behavior and practicing compassion and care towards the students. The principal's response falls under state 6 or ethical principle orientation in the post-conventional morality where morality is primarily guided by an ethical principle which transcends all laws and rules given by the society. Morality at this stage is guided by self-chosen ethical principles of conscience rather than any rules or laws imposed from the outside. Lawrence Kohlberg studied development of moral thinking in children using a dilemma called Heinz Dilemma. By presenting the Heinz Dilemma to children of different ages, Kohlberg analyzed their responses to the Heinz Dilemma. On the basis of the analysis of the responses made by children, Lawrence Kohlberg arrived at the theory of moral development in children. The summary of the theory given by Kohlberg is right in front of you in the visual. According to Kohlberg, Children develop moral reasoning as they develop their cognition. So cognitive development as given by Piaget 
and moral development as given by Kohlberg happen simultaneously as the child develops. That's all for today's lecture. I hope you liked the presentation. Thank you.